continues now in the gorge where traffic will not be rolling down Interstate 84 until tomorrow at the earliest. That is putting a strain on the economy in that area. Meteorologist Claire Anderson has been in Hood River since that storm began on Tuesday. And Claire, what are these stranded drivers telling you? Well, it's funny. We just saw a few walking down towards this McDonald's here because they're stuck about a mile uh, eastward and there's nothing out there. So a lot of people have been walking up. But the one good thing is, like Sally was talking, these temperatures are slowly warming and we can tell a difference. I want to show you right now. So this is still a pretty solid thing of ice, but you can start to break it off. I couldn't do this this morning. I couldn't do it yesterday. It's starting to break apart. Now, I don't want people to think the ice is gone. I am currently sliding around around here. Uh, you can see on my feet here, it's slowly starting to melt, but definitely very icy conditions. But you know, this is causing a problem again for those truckers and their cargo loads that have been parked along the freeways and any at open lot. Tuesday night, all traffic was diverted off I-84 due to the thick ice, snow drifts, down wires and trees. Even with the snow plows and gravel trucks trying to clear the highway, conditions have continued to wreak havoc on eastbound commercial travel. My dispatcher called me to get drop this load as soon as possible, but I can, you know. The semi truck loads remained parked in the same spot for a third day, and some are becoming frustrated. The main thing is uh, we are stuck. Company has uh, no problem, and the uh, we are wasting our time. Thursday morning, some truckers decided to give SR 14 a try, hoping that roadway would get them to their destination sooner. But even getting out of the parking lot became a challenge due to the continued icy conditions. Others didn't want to risk taking an alternate route. Everybody's anxious to go, but when you can't go, it's not, no load is worth your life. Truck drivers like Steve are carrying frozen chicken and his cargo won't go bad. We have a re refrigerated trailer, so therefore we can set the temperature and it'll maintain that temperature within five degrees of what you set it at. So as ice remains on the roadways, both the trucks and the stores waiting for their shipments will just have to hold on. And that's exactly the thing, as I know that people are patiently waiting. A lot of people have been talking about it. I've been stuck here for days. And like Sally was talking, the weather forecast is looking to get a little bit warmer. So we're going to cross our fingers and hopefully some of these trucks can get out of here sooner rather than later. Guys.